Hello everybody, so now it's time for some modification of my two year old in the tree. So let's begin. First thing we're gonna do is to clean this V slot because they collect a lot of dust in it. So for that I got this V slot rubber cover to fill up those slots. One thing if you get it wrong your print quality will always going to be worst of worst yes you're right the belts So the default Ender 3's bed spring are like super loose, so we need to fix this too. Much better. You know, there's something else too that is really really important for a fast printing. And you guessed it right. Yeah, fast cool. Okay, so there's a problem, like the problem is with the design of this Satsana, I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, and this motor holder because these are not compatible with each other. And given that, like I downloaded the Satsana design for a volcano based Horton and it is not working correctly. I mean, this thing fits, but given that, I need to make this thing a direct drive too. So I downloaded this motor holder to make a direct drive and also it's like really fragile also and these two are not compatible with each other. So what I did, I only, I opened a Fusion 360, redesigned this thing from scratch. And I think it's cooked now. Let's check it out. Hey, hold on. Uh, you know what, what else this printer need? Uh, that's not the basic thing and everything 3D printer except one. So we need uh, for fast printing we need high flow rate for that we're gonna go with a wall cannon based nozzle and the most common and the necess necessary thing in every 3D printer is the PL touch or you can say auto bed leveling. Okay, like in football or any other sports, with the stamina and speed, you also need big brain in order to win. Like that, in order to make our 3D print fast and smarter, we need something better. So we're gonna give a new and smarter brain to our Ender 3.
I get in, I take a shower, read a book and feel empowered. Smoking on that sour got me counting out. Okay, so we have graded it, but is it fast enough? Because I printed that previous model that you just saw at 150 millimeter a second, but is it fast? No, absolutely not. So, what are we gonna do to make it as fast as a LEGO printer? Well, the answer is clear. 